Mahalo for tuning in to Island Focus and joining me in meeting Chief Manuel Neves of the Honolulu Fire Department. Glad you're with us. And so happy that you're with us as well. Thank you for the invitation. Here we are in your museum, which we'll learn about a little bit later. Um, what's new in the fire department? Well, one of the most exciting things that we have is we have a new method of recruiting for new firefighters. Uh, we've been working with the Honolulu Community College. They have a fire science program there. And for the last five years, we got them to change their curriculum to parallel the requirements that are needed to become a firefighter in the Honolulu Fire Department. So now young individuals, women and men, can attend college at the Honolulu Community College, attain the certifications that are necessary, the minimum certifications to be a firefighter, and we'll have a special recruitment for them. So we're very excited about that, that we have individuals that are committed to this profession, like any other profession that requires you to have some um, educational background before you become an accountant or a doctor or a nurse. So in the fire service, we're trying to do the same thing. I had no idea that there was a, a fire science, firefighter science, and yes. what kind of subjects are included in that or content? When I, I graduated from the fire science program, uh, after I had my bachelor's degree, I went back when I became a firefighter. So those that become firefighters can also go back to, to school and learn a little bit more about the, the fire science program. And what, what is taught there is about the nature of fire, what, how fire spreads, what causes fires, also how do you extinguish or mitigate fires and, and other emergencies. So they're taught a whole gamut of um, different subject matters. But the program that is brand new, you come out as a certified, nationally certified firefighter one, a firefighter two, you have a certification for hazardous material awareness and hazardous material um, operations. And the most important is you come out as a National Registry Emergency Medical Technician, or an EMT. So this is what is required in our recruit school. So now these folks will come with those certs, and our recruit school will be cut in half. So about four months of recruit training, and then you'll be right in the fire stations. So someone who wants to become a firefighter, um, it would give them a leg up if they went to... Honolulu Community College. Absolutely, because it's going to be a separate recruitment. We're going to continue with the recruitment that we have in the last 168 years, but now we're going to try to bring folks that have the background already, have the certifications, and that will allow us to turn over and fill our vacancies a lot quicker. What do you find is the most um, challenging as well as the most satisfying in your role as chief? What makes up perfect firefighter, if there is any perfect firefighter. I've been in 40 years and I'm still trying to be the perfect firefighter, <laughs> but I'm struggling with that. But I think it's, you know, the old axiom of mind, body, and spirit. Hmm. You know, you have to have a strong mind. You have to be intelligent enough that you're able to grasp these um, concepts. Because we teach people of hazardous materials, you have to take uh, one week of intense chemistry hydraulics, you know, how does the, the properties of water work when you have to pump from a fire truck to the right. top of a building and the emergency medical component of treating folks out in the field. So you have to be able to get this concept down. And so you have to have the intelligence for that. Secondly is your body. It's not only big, strong firefighters, but being fit. We need people who have endurance. We have cardio people that have strength, being able to just be a well-rounded folks and taking care of your body because your body will allow you to do the job that's necessary. And the spirit, the spirit, you have to have the, in, externally, you have to be a kind person because you are dealing with folks in the worst time of their life. Most people don't call 911 ever in their whole lives, but when they do, it's, in a, it's a total emergency, the worst day that they could encounter. And you are first responders. Right, so we would be the first on scene and you have to have that kind spirit that you can deal with these folks in their worst moment. But internally, the other thing is how do you, as a person, because we are persons as well, mm -hmm. how do you deal with the trauma that you see or the mm -hmm. devastation of someone's property being destroyed? So we have programs that uh, we have set up for our firefighters called the peer support program. So we try to help them in that sense. And I see a, a big a difference from when I started 40 years ago. Back then it was, oh, just man up or suck it up or just deal with it. But now we, we try to address the, the spirit of our firefighters and the, the, the soul as well. 
Well, with all humility, <laughs> I want to suggest that you are about as close to perfect in being the leader that you are. And we thank you very much for, for that and for your commitment. Well, thank you for, much thank for you saying for that. Us. We've had the pleasure of meeting Chief Manuel Nevis of the Honolulu Fire Department. Glad you could be with us. <laughs>